Hi, everybody. Sorry, I know, late. But as you see, in hopefully the messages I put in that I was having some technical trouble. My laptop decided it wanted to restart just as I was getting ready to go live. And I was like, are you kidding me? So <laughs> that's been my morning. Now, Nova's here. But if she starts getting a little loud, I'll move her to another room because you never know with her. Marina is going to be joining us, I think. And I've just been plundering around, getting things started for this journal. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. We're going to add some flowers to the front, some greenery, some lace, some trim, a doily, you know got to doll it up a little bit, right? So let me get that out of the way and I'll show you what I've been working on this morning. I have been printing out, like I told you I was going to, because um, on white cardstock, on one side, because I'm going to glue my tags, you know, before I cut everything out because certain things I like on heavier paper and some things I like on the light paper. So, and I used, this color is, it's a Genevieve Designs, it's her Shades of Color, and it's her Shades of Color 2, number 31. Let me see if I can adjust this camera just a little bit. So, it'll take me a second, y'all. It just looks awfully dark and I can lighten it up some. I just got to get to the right settings. And I need to turn off the autofocus, which, come on. And let's see, we need the brightness turned up a little bit. That's a little better. There we go. Okay. Anyway, that's Genevieve's Shades of Color. And I love it. It's a real nice tan. So I did part of it on that. And I even done some... Uh, ruled paper, you know, notebook papers. I've done some of those in it as well, front and back, you know. And I did some in another one of her shades of color, but this is from number one, shades of color. And I used number 10. It's a real pretty pink. And these colors, you know, they really go good with the colors in the journal. So that's why I did that. And I even did some notebook paper in it too, fronts and backs, so we can use them in the journals. Um, it's like here, I want my envelope on the light paper, but my pockets and maybe the belly band, kind of want them on a little bit heavier. And same here. I like my ephemera on a little bit heavier paper. And then some of them I'm probably going to run through my little Xyron and turn them into stickers, you know, because they're so small. And the actual pages for the journals, half of them I did with the uh, pink on the back, you know, so you're not looking at stark white. And the other half I did with the... Um, the brown, you know, so it's not really brown. It's, it's a real pretty color, but that's what I've been working on this morning and figuring out what I want to do on the cover. So, hi Jasper, thanks for coming in, honey. No, it's not an avocado. It's an actual, I don't know if she watercolored it or what. Um, it's real pretty and it goes great with the, uh, digital kit from, 
and it's from line dot arrow. Let me see if I can find. Yep, here it is. So let me bring you in just a little bit so y'all can see a little better. I know my lighting's not the greatest, but there you go. It's line dot arrow. She's running a thing to give me a name giveaway because this digital kit does not have a name. And so you get to go in and give it a name. And if they choose your name that you choose, you get a prize. I don't, I didn't really listen to what the prize was. I was so excited to get this and get it downloaded so I could get it printed out and work on it. I, I love this journal. It's gorgeous going to lurk and work with you about to cut wallpaper samples. Oh, cool. I've got a brand new, the new um, electric uh, Sizzix die cutting machine. Hey, grungy journals. And I've never, I've had it for like three months and I still have not taken it out of the box. So I'm going to do that one day. I've, I've got to do it. Um, let me show you what I'm planning on doing with the cover. We made the actual journal for it to go in yesterday. And uh, it's a hardback. It's going to have three signatures. I covered it with some wallpaper that I had. Or not wallpaper. You've got me thinking about wallpaper, Jasper. Yes, the Tim Holtz, the new switch. That's what I've got. Never even took it out of the box. Just realized it's not morning. I know it's afternoon. So do a live so you can help others with the machine. I will, honey. Okay. So anyway, this was gift wrap. I bought a roll of gift wrap on clearance at Hobby. And I liked it because a lot of the cover, the covers, the collars match a lot of the colors in the journal so i know i can't talk today well as soon as i got ready to go live my computer decided it wanted to restart and it took its sweet time doing it we've all run into that problem so anyway, we built the, the cover yesterday. Like I said, it's going to have three signatures. I like it. But I want to cover this. So I'm thinking I have this lace. And we're going to put that on. And then I've got this real pretty doily. And I kind of want to center on the spine like that. And y'all tell me what you think of my idea. And then I've got this lace trim. I think I'm going to put a piece there. And then I've got these roses and greenery. So let's see. I'm going to have one come down that way. This one's going to go off that way. And then I'm going to have these pretty roses sitting on there. So what do you think? You think that'll look okay for the cover of that journal? This one's pink. This is kind of a tan. And this one's cream. So, yeah, they're showing up the color. Okay. Sometimes things don't show up the colors they need to. You know what I mean? Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. So that's what that's going to look like. Now I'm debating because I can't put my stuff on until after I get my journals put together and in here. Because, you know, I won't be able to get to the spine to sew them in. So that's what we're going to work on today. But I have all this ready. And I've got this and... One of these ready to go on the back cover too so it'll be okay it'll all kind of match oh there's marina hang on y'all 
Sorry about that, sweetie. No, it was mine too. I just couldn't get it to work. And then oh, the and I lose all track of everything. I am uh, just working on something. So I'll be a few minutes. You there, Marina? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can't hear her. All right. Hang on. Are y'all having a tr trouble hearing Marina? Because I am. Huh. You can hear. Wonder why I can't. Hmm. Hang on a minute. I think I know. Hi, Grinchy Girl. Hi, Jasper. Sorry. That's the problem. Can you hear me now? Yep, it was my speaker. Dennis had him turned down. My husband <laughs> uses my... Oh. I think Nova doesn't like my voice. I think that's what it comes down to. Nova just does not like my voice. Sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to fix something that didn't quite work. So. All right. You know what? It's good. I'm just going to try like this. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I muted myself as quick as I could and I removed her. You're going to hear her in the background, but oh I, my goodness. I was saying, I think Nova doesn't like my voice. I don't know. She didn't do that all day yesterday. Exactly. At all. I mean, you can go back and watch the video. And she was right there on her swing. You know where it's at, Marina. Yep. Yeah, I think she doesn't like my voice. I don't know. It's crazy. So. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, I think I want to get all my pages without the ephemera stuff together and divide them up so I can get my pages built, you know, my signatures. And I did enough. Okay, that's for that. One of those will go in here. Okay, I think that's all of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. But yeah, she's just, she's been a handful lately, y'all. I want to get a couple of, a piece of vellum, I think, and stick in as well. So each signature will have one of each of these. So I got three of those. Trying to divide it all out. I should have had it done probably. All right. Now, where did I put... That's the beige. That's the pink. So where are the... All right, now this is a little crazy. You've seen me print the backs of all this out, Marina. All the pages. And now, I don't know where my actual, under here maybe. Right. No, that's all the ephemera stuff. 
You guys, I'm telling you, I printed everything out. And half of the pages that are, you know, for the actual kit, I done with the uh, pink background. And the other half I did with this color background. And I can't find the ones that I did in this color background. And they were just up here. Matter of fact, I've been working on it all morning. So, did it get moved? Nope. Ha, did I find them maybe? Yep. There they are. No, that's not them. Those are the mess up pieces. Oh my goodness. Where'd Marina go? Oh, she lost power. Oh my gosh. Nope, these are the mess ups. So that's not what I'm looking for. I wonder what. All right, guys, give me a minute. They're here somewhere. Maybe this is them. There should be six. Two, three. Four. Yep, there they are. Okay. I knew I did them. Because there's, um, what, like 12? So I want to divide them up. Because I want one of each of these in each of the signatures. And then we're just going to kind of divide up the others. And I'm not worried about which one goes into which. They're all gorgeous. I'm happy with each and every one of them. And this one I've got two stuck together here. Not wanting to cooperate. So, put that one there. I love this little girl with the dog. It's so cute. Put one there and one there. Like I said, I'm just dividing them up. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there, one there, and let's see, I'm short one, so I'm looking to see if I have something else I can tuck in there of the ones that didn't come out quite right, you know. Hmm. Don't think I do. I may have to. That one will work. It'll be okay. So we'll do that one there. Alrighty. So that gives us, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I know I want to put some vellum. So where is my vellum? Hang on one second. I'm going to find my vellum. Are you your shrink inks? Your shrink plastic. You're not vellum. Well, I had vellum out this morning. Did I put it up here, possibly? Nope, those are sticker sheets. We don't need that. Huh. Well, now, if that ain't a fine little thing. Okay. 
Okay, I'm still going to go ahead. We're just going to go ahead and trim off these white edges. It's got to be done anyway. And maybe it'll come to me where my vellum got put while I'm doing that because I had it out this morning. And my printer has been kind of cattywonked lately. I don't know. I... I need to get a new printer and just haven't wanted to go spend that extra money, you know, so, and I've also got some lace that I want to put down the edge of some of the pages and I can never do my trimmer with this. It just never looks right. I don't know why I end up crooked and cattywonked here and there. It's a mess. Y'all have that problem too. So as I get them done, same, I got to trim down a little more because this side's not right. I don't know what's going on with the printer. We've realigned. I've cleaned the heads. And it's like, no, I'm, I'm done. I've had enough of you. Which I understand. I print a lot. So it's time to get a new one, I think. Hi, Mandalay. How are you? I'm sorry you lost power, Marina. It's going to be kind of a boring. But, you know, it's part of the steps of building a journal. So, it is what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Some of these I have to cut. On the wide side and some on the shorter side it's why is it my printer's just not sucking everything in i i don't know matter of fact i was having it was sucking in two pages at a time earlier and you know what a mess that is it throws everything off so i had to cancel and then put it all back and get it to go again. And I was like, this is ridiculous. So I think as much as I hate to with it, next week, I'm probably going to end up just getting a new printer because I'm tired of fighting with it. It won't even print um, Wi-Fi anymore. We had to get a cord. We bought a 25 foot USB printer cord because my printer's on the other side of the room and it just, I couldn't move it. I have nowhere over here to move my printer. Absolutely nowhere. So, you know, it's crazy, but things happen and you suck it up and you move on, you know. But, we all go through this process when we're building a journal. I don't do a lot of journals. This is probably the fourth, fourth or fifth journal I've ever made. So I usually make albums, but this album, I just, uh, as soon as I seen it, I was like, I want to do that. I love that album, you know, album. See, I do albums. I love that journal paper. And I'm thinking of ways I could use it to make a mini album. Hang on, I got to read chat. It's hard for me to see. Your printer software needs an update. We updated it. And it wouldn't even let us, my husband thought, okay, it's not going to do that. You know, it still wouldn't let us. So he thought, well, I'll uninstall it and just reinstall everything, right? It's an HP, and it would not let us uninstall it. 
Isn't that crazy? And it wouldn't reinstall another one with the software for that one still there. But it's still updating and everything when it needs because HP, you know, kind of has control of it. I'm wondering, to be honest, because I have the uh, Instant Ink thing. And I've had that printer for a while. Are they messing with it so I have to go spend money and buy a new printer? You know what I mean? Because they tell you when to add ink and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But I don't know. I know it's crazy. And it's not like I can't afford to go buy a new one. I just hate to spend the money, you know? There's other things I would like to have that don't include me buying a new printer right now. And like I said, my laptop, I know there's nothing wrong with it. It just needed to update and it decided, oh, she's getting ready to go live. Let's update now. That's what it did. And I'm not the only person who's had that problem with printers updating at the worst times possible. I'm folding some opposite directions, so everything's not looking alike. But I really love this kit. So if y'all get a chance and you want to really have a good look at it, because, like I said, my lighting's not the greatest. You understand completely. Yeah, it's crazy. But uh, go to line dot arrow. She has a it linked in hers and her to her Etsy. It's very reasonable for the size of it, and it's gorgeous. So that's where this digital came from was line dot arrow her etsy shop and like i said it, it just i've got an album started i've got a ephemera holder started that i need to finish and i started this because i just i fell in love with it I absolutely fell in love with this journal. I think it's very vintage looking, you know, shabby chic. It's just gorgeous. So anyway, I'm not going to be able to just sit and keep cutting. My, I'll have to sit up and chat with y'all sooner or later because my back's like... Telling me, what do you think you're doing leaning over that much? But it'll be okay. Like I said, I'm taking my time. I'm not going to rush on this. I want it. It's it's special to me. I, I can't explain it. But I really like this digital. And I buy a lot of digitals and use them, but this one was like, whoa. All right, why are you folding weird? Oh, you're cut a little crooked. You'll be okay. Still going to use you. Still going to use it. We all cut a little crooked or something. Nothing's ever perfect in this world, right? And it's not supposed to be. I know when you get inspired. I, yeah. And she just showed the kit. And I was like, oh my God. So I, on my phone, I picked it up and I bought it in there. And I came right out here and started getting it downloaded and printed out and I went live yesterday and showed the kit and we built the uh, cover for the journal and then I immediately 
this morning, as soon as I got up, I started, you know, cause some things we like on heavier cardstock and some things we need on, you know, the thinner printer paper. I use a 28 pound printer paper. I, I don't like 20 pound. It's just too flimsy for me. And I'm going to add some coffee dyed pages. I've got some coffee dyed paper that I'm going to add into these. But I think they're just gorgeous. You know, it may not be for everybody, and that's fine. Not everybody likes the same thing. But, like I said, I even coffee dyed or um, printed some color out on some notebook paper. I thought it was a neat idea. I didn't want plain notebook paper and coffee dyeing it. My lines run and it makes a mess. So it's like, hey, I don't want to do that. And I'm still trying to remember where I set my vellum. And if I don't find it today, it'll be okay. We're not going to get them put in anyway. I'm going to get all my edges trimmed off. And... Get them folded and ready to put together. And then hopefully, I think it'll be, hmm, trying to think. Today's Monday, which yesterday I thought today was would have been Sunday or something like that. I, I thought yesterday was Saturday, believe it or not. I lost an entire day. I have no clue how that happened. And um, that was funny. Trying to figure out what's the day. Um, hubby's off work tomorrow. So I probably won't be able to come live tomorrow. Um, Wednesday, mom and I go to the Ben's store. If y'all ever heard of it. It's uh, just a little store and they sell um, like Amazon returns and different things like that. And I like it. We go on $2 a day. Anything in there costs you $2. So I will be doing that with mom. And it kind of gives us a girl's day out on Wednesday. And I'll be back on Thursday. And then hubby's off again on Friday. So I won't be on. And then I get Saturday and Sunday and Monday. So, yeah, time we add a couple of pieces of vellum and some coffee dyed. It'll be good. And the ephemera that she has that comes with this is, there's a lot of it, guys. There's some cute little mirrors. Wait a minute. What did I mean? Oh, none of those yet. Yeah. I got to sit up a second, y'all. My, um, our weather's changing. I'm in a, just outside of Augusta, Georgia, and our weather's changing. And my arthritis has really been acting up in my back pretty good lately. So, you know how that goes. I was in Ohio, in Springfield, Ohio, not this past weekend, the weekend before. We left here, me and mom, on Friday morning at 5.30 in the morning. And we went up through the mountains, up around Charlotte and that way. And uh, <laughs> we stayed with uh, Stephanie of Creative Wires and more. She comes live with me once in a while. Um, and we spent the weekend. We came back home this past Monday, a week ago today. We came home. It only took us nine and a half hours to get there. It took us over ten and a half to get home because I live off of Dean's Bridge Road, which is Highway 1 South. Take you right into Florida. And one of the trash trucks, the big ones, caught on fire not eight miles from my house. So we got caught in that traffic. 
Oh, sorry, guys. Still no power. Tell me. Can be up to four hours. Oh, gosh, Marina. I'm so sorry. Um, Trying to think. Where was it? Oh, we had to kind of get out of that finally and go around another way, which took us an extra hour to get home. We were so tired. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm Joe, Jasper. Everybody just calls me Joe. Poor Marina. Is the weather hot up there, Marina, right now, though? You know, I mean, if you're there in that heat with no air, that's got to be brutal. Because I don't want to be without air conditioning. I know that. If anyone wants to join me, yeah, send me a friend request on Facebook. I'm Joetta Pashan, Blythe, Georgia. And you're more than welcome to join. Like I said, I'm just, I know it's going to be a bit of a boring day. And the reason is, it's a process. And it's the process that we all have to do when we're making journals, you know. And... A lot of people want to try and aren't real sure, you know, what to do. So by showing the entire process, they like that. And some people who do them all the time don't like that. Nope, it's cool. Turned off my AC about a week ago. Okay. Um, no, no, we did not. I'm two hours north, northwest, slightly, of Savannah, Georgia. Now, we did get prepared because the day before it hit, they predicted that it was going to hit down around Savannah and come straight up the South Carolina-Georgia state line, basically. So, we... You know, got everything taken care of, made sure we had bottled water and extra food and all that good stuff. And we were blessed. It did not. We had we had some pretty good, probably 35, 40 mile an hour wind gust, but it didn't stay. And it would rain good for just a few minutes and then it would quit and you would get that light mist. So we were really blessed that we didn't get, you know, the bad part of it. Marina lives in Canada. So, and if y'all know that Canada got hit with a hurricane two weeks ago. The one that was out in the Atlantic went up and nailed the east coast of Canada pretty good. It's crazy how much damage, wondering how the craft community can help those folks. Well, um, I know one specifically, um, Shannon Naylor, 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 y'all know Shannon? I, I've seen her in a few lives. That's how I know. And she's friends with Kathy of Kathy's World. Um, they lost their home and everything. I mean, they really had it rough. And it's so sad because, you know, we have a lot of money tied up in our craft supplies. Nobody can deny that, you know. And to lose everything is just... You don't know her. I know Shannon. Uh, Shannon Knight, where you can go into uh, Kathy's world and 
she messaged her and told her that they're still alive. Thank God. But they lost their home and everything. And I was like, oh, bless her heart, you know. So. Now, if other people have different ways of doing their journals than I do, and that's fine. If you have a way that works better for you, then do what works for you. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. I should have probably taken the time last night, but I was so tired yesterday that I didn't print everything out. And I could have had this all done, but that would have taken this time away that I get to sit and chat and get to know y'all a little bit better. And I like that, you know, it's fun. It's like, um, I was trying to figure out what I need to do to get my, um, Plastic, my it's not vellum. I didn't use vellum. I used a uh, overhead projector plastic for the pockets that are going in my oh my ephemera holder I'm making. And I know Fabri-Tac won't stick for long. I know that uh, art glitter glue, you know, they pop loose. So I was thinking about tacking them down with some glue and then stapling and then go over that with some um, washi tape. And a woman in our that came in yesterday, I can't even remember who it was, isn't that horrible, told me to try E6000. So I'm putting them on with E6000 and if it works and they don't pop loose, that's great. I will bounce between you and Janet's channel. That's fine, honey. I love watching live streams. That's part of my problem, how I don't go live very often sometimes, is I get to watching YouTube and I get so in awe over all the, you know, that everybody's doing and I forget to do anything myself. So I get sidetracked. But, um, what was I saying? I can't even think now. I ended up taking something from my back today. So, and I still have a little bit of brain fog from the, uh, having the COVID last month. My hands aren't as shaky. They still do shake, but not near as bad as they were. So I'm grateful for that. Um, it is a, one of the side effects, I guess, the doctor said. You know, you're always going to do it. There's nothing you can do until it gives up on its own. I have you on my phone. and <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I watch YouTube from our bedroom or out here. And it, my bedroom is like going to the movie theater. My husband, I could have killed him. Yeah. He went and he was getting us a new TV for the bedroom. And he comes home with a 60 inch TV. And I'm like, where do you think you're going to put that? And he's like, up on the dresser where we had the other one. And I'm like, you're kidding, right? So I can lay in bed and it's like being at the movie theater. This TV is so big. And I'm like, I thought we agreed you were going to get. 50 55 inch he's like well for five dollars more i got five more inches and i'm like oh my god no it's not cool it's it's huge so it's funny because i tell my friends when they're live and i'm watching them you're life size <laughs> You agree with the hubs. And yeah, he likes his big TV. My hubs is uh, 70 years old. He's from Hawaii. He's retired from the Army. His name is Dennis. He is literally named after Dennis the Menace. I'm telling you now. And he skateboards. 
with the grandkids and by himself. I told him he's going to break a hip. So we have a walker and a wheelchair for when that happens because I know I'm going to have to take care of the big baby. But he's very active. He still works. He, matter of fact, he's at work on post. He works on Fort Gordon at um, Domino's. He delivers pizza part-time. It's like I told him, I don't know that he'll ever completely retire because he would get so bored, you know. And I would probably want to kill him shortly, you know, because he's a, he's a handful. I'm telling you now, he's a handful. I tell him he is my 75 year old juvenile delinquent. Whatever the grandkids don't come up with, he does. And I know right now he's really bored when he's home and stuff. We had to, um, oh, what a great grandpa. If he can do it, let him. Right. Too soon all of us won't be able to do stuff. You're right. You're right. I mean, he does whatever he wants. But um, he's wanting to get an electric one. And they go pretty darn fast. And I don't know how comfortable I am with that. You know, I don't want him to break a hip. But, yeah, he's a cool grandpa. He gets together with the grandkids at least once a month. And he goes and he picks them all up. And they all go out for Chinese together. And then they go shopping. And, of course, Pop Pop's going to buy them whatever they want. I got his credit card bill after one shopping excursion and was like, dude, <laughs> you're like, well, they needed this. They wanted that. I couldn't get for this one and not. For I understand that. But, you know, your, your grandpa, there has to be limits. Oh, they wear you out. It's like right now I'm looking at a terrible cloudy fish tank that I'm going to have to take the time to clean because when we were in Ohio last weekend one of my granddaughters came and stayed while Dennis was at work and spent the weekend to let the dogs in and out and take care of the birds and she overfed the goldfish she does it every time I so I know I've got to clean the goldfish tank and I hate cleaning that thing. I cannot stand it. But she came and helped out. I'm grateful for that. But I'll tell you, I hate cleaning the fish tank. I don't think anyone enjoys cleaning a fish tank. Just not my cup of tea. And where I'm a little bit off, y'all, I'm sure you can see that. I'm just going to add lace. It'll never, won't be that big a deal. They like said, I hit Hobby Lobby when they clearanced all that lace ribbon and trims. No, the fish, no, 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 no. It's one goldfish, and I'll explain to you. After mom's house caught fire and it had no, no power, my dad, before he passed away, he had this goldfish in a pond outside. And we didn't want the fish to die because there was no pump going, you know, no circulation. So I went and I bought a little 10-gallon fish tank with a filter and gravel and plants and all that. And, oh, killed your goldfish, putting a whole piece of bread in the tank. Yeah, that'll kill them. But, um... I didn't want the fish to die because it was my dad's goldie. So I brought it up and we put it in a nice tank. And that's how I got a goldfish. Some of y'all, if you're new in here, you don't know. My mom lives with us. And been that way for probably about three years now. 
My dad's been gone just over five. My nephew, he's in prison. He set her house on fire. And he beat her up that morning. And laundry is done in the dryer. Cool. Let's see. I think we're going to go this way with this one. So I've got my plate pretty full taking care of the house, the pets, mom, husband, grandkids in and out, and kids. I have four children. My husband, he has two. They still live in Hawaii. Um, my four live nearby. And uh, I have 13 grandchildren and one great-grandchild. And I have two grandsons that are, one's in the reserves. He's probably in Florida, as a matter of fact, helping with the relief. And one of my grandsons just joined the Air Force. He just passed his test last week. So, pretty crazy. Okay, that takes care of the second signature that I've got going so far. Yay. Yep. Other than getting it together and finding the vellum. And I may print on the vellum. So I know I want a couple of pieces of vellum. And I know I definitely want some more coffee dyed paper in here. We have a huge family, Bonnie, and by the way, thank you and welcome to our channel. It's like, a, it's just a quiet craft day for me. I'm just going to take my time. I'm so excited with this journal. I love the digital, and I don't want to rush anything. I don't do... Um, journals very often. I mostly do albums. So this is just a fun thing for me to try and do. But I know I don't want to rush. I want to take my time and enjoy the process. So and doing what I'm doing now, cutting off the white edges is a big part of the process. And some people who do it all the time get bored and don't want to bother, and I understand that. And then you have some who are just learning, and they want to know the process. So that's why I kind of do the way I do. I hope that makes sense to y'all. But I'm... Yes, Mom, later. I'm live. I'm live. Probably about an hour. My mom, and I'll see if I can show you guys what she's doing. She's working on, she sews. And she's making these beautiful bunny doorstops. They're huge. And she needs to go pick up some more thread and stuff to work on her project. So she's telling me that after a bit, she needs to go to Hobby Lobby to pick up some thread. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> she didn't realize I was live, y'all. Don't make journals. Made a traveler's journal notebook. Oh, cool. I, like I said, I mostly do albums. But... And I'm going to figure out, I'm going to use this digital in an album, a mini album. I love making albums. I love being able to add a pocket, a flip, but, you know, just all kinds of things. Um, I like the waterfalls. Love doing a waterfall. I usually put a waterfall 
on the inside back and the inside front covers because they're sturdier to hold up the waterfall and they just look nice. So, and I like adding big pockets with some photo mats. I told you, you didn't hear me, Mom. Love her to death. Will make me crazy, but I love her to death. And I'll probably go ahead and take her out for a lunch today. Why not, right? We'll do a late lunch, early dinner. You like to make albums. Yeah. Now, I'll even add a small little writing journal, you know, under a belly band or something sometimes. You know, I like doing that. I think they're cute. So, it's all a process. This page is gorgeous, you guys. And like I said, we're so printed a little crooked and, you know, things aren't exact. I'm just going to add a little lace down the edges and it'll be fine. You know, you don't have to be perfect. I think that perfection is overrated when it comes to our crafts. They are a handmade item. It's from, hang on, let me show you. Where did I put her? It's line dot arrow. Here it is. And if you go, let me, I'll zoom you in real quick. Hang on. So you guys will be able to see it better. There it is. It's line dot arrow. And the kit does not have a name yet. She's doing a giveaway. So go in. She posted it yesterday. So go into her, her live on this and leave a comment for a name for the digital kit. And maybe you'll win. And it's for sale in her Etsy shop. It's very reasonable. And if you win, I got to find out what you win. Because I did not pay attention. I was just in awe over the digital. So I have no clue what the prize is. But that's who... and get back out otherwise I'll forget and you'll be way up there for a long time <laughs> nobody needs to be way up there for that long but I love it now, the back of the pages, this pink and the beige color, those are from Genevieve's Designs. And they are in her shop. They are her shades of color. So, that's where that is. Here, I'll, I'll type it in for you. on just a second honey that's the channel on YouTube and like I said it's gorgeous So I hope that helped you. And you're very welcome, Bonnie. Okay. Yep, still got a little white on this side I got to take care of. Line up.
I'm so glad hubby was nice and emptied my trash can. <laughs> Look at that little girl sleep on her dog. Isn't she adorable? I love this one. I think it's so cute. Oops. Knocked my stuff over. Okay. I gotta do some the other direction now. Oh, it's a process. And I still got to cut out the um, pockets, the envelopes, all the ephemera. It's like, oh my gosh. But I had to reprint a lot of it because, you know, I like certain, I printed it out yesterday just to get a look at it, you know, because I like certain things printed out on certain papers, you know, we don't, I don't want envelopes printed out on cardstock and I don't want my tags printed out on printer paper. You know, so just certain things that you have to do so it comes out more sturdy, you know, it's better, I think. May not be, may just be me, but that's, you know, if you do it, you do you, I do me, and that's how the world goes around. My dad always said, if everybody felt the same and thought the same, it would be a pretty boring world. Well, this is true. So. And I love this eyelet lace. I don't let anybody empty my craft room garbage. Sometimes good stuff falls in it. I get it. I get it. My hubby's pretty good, and I've gotten to where I kind of make sure all my tools are accounted for and stuff like that before I leave my desk, since he sits here on his days off and plays on the computer and all that good stuff. Makes me crazy. I'm going to tell you now. We've been married for... 29 years. We'll be married 30 years. And I'm going to tell you, he's my third and I'm his third. My second husband passed away. The kid's dad. And uh, he had cancer. Then I met Dennis and we've been together. God, I've known Dennis for probably close to 35 years. We've been married from going on 30. You don't keep it by your desk. <laughs> I keep everything. See, we turned our living room because we didn't use the living room. It was just him and I. And after mom moved in, I gave up my craft room and we moved it out here. And mom took over what was my craft room, turned it into a, a little sitting area, living room. And then she has the middle bedroom for her bedroom. She has her own bathroom. So it worked out that way for us. And we turned what was the living room into my craft room, basically. It's big enough. Oops. Okay, there's that one. Look at this little girl. And I love the way she kept the same dog, you know, on through the, the journal. Landlord is on his way. Apparently my breaker may have blown. Oh no. Good.
I hope he, he's able to fix it. I hope it didn't break the breaker box. I've had that happen, y'all. You know, the breaker break. And breakers are expensive. They are very expensive for breakers. Like I said, I know this is the boring part. But... You know, it's part of the process. It's boring for us <laughs> doing it. But, you know, it's got to be done. And if you want to do the journal, and you want it done right, you're going to take the time to do it. So... Up there and I try to keep my big head out of the camera okay let me see everybody always asks me why I never brought a house because I lived in the same place for 20 years I said because I don't fix stuff I understand that I get it that way you don't have to deal with it around here something breaks I call hubby. You have to fix this. He's never happy about it. I'll tell you. But things break. Um, was it last year? My water heater exploded. And it's in my laundry room. And you wouldn't believe the mess I had. It was horrible. So I had the exploded water heater um let's see me and mom were out shopping one day and i come home and i went to start dinner and my stove wouldn't come on it wasn't and he's like oh yeah i it it made some beepy noises and said something about call somebody or whatever or, you know an authorized dealer or something like that. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. So I had to buy a new stove. My stove went out. The electric, the brain, you know, they're all pretty much electronic anymore. So had to do that. Um, my washer and dryer were bought, used years ago. And hubby just decided we were getting a new washer and dryer i love my new washer and dryer the only problem with it is i'm short i'm very short i'm five two five two and a half at the best and the washer is so deep it's one of those without an agitator in it i have to have a little stool to step up to reach the bottom of the washer or i have to get my little jelly roll belly up over the edge and dangle and I look like Winnie the Pooh in the honey pot so <laughs> oh thank you Jasper but yep okay all three are got the pages trimmed for all three signatures and trying to think I don't think there's anything else I can do. I've got to find my vellum and get the coffee dyed out. And I, yep, you have one of those on your tippy toes. Exactly, Bonnie. But so that's probably what I'm going to do on that today. Where did I put the journal? I laid it over here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, y'all, that I'm not going to have to. I mean, I know they'll be stacked inside one another, but I want to see. Oh, they're going to fit. I'm not going to have to trim down the sides, so that'll be good. They're going to fit in there just fine. Made it the right size. Yay! So, I'll have to get my holes measured and punched. I may have Hubby poke the holes for me because oh you're five five and it's okay imagine take off two and a half inches at least if not three inches you would have a terrible time reaching in there right so 
but that's probably, I'm going to find the vellum and I will get it ready tonight. Coffee dyed paper is no big deal. Yeah, I'll do that all the time. And uh, then tomorrow we'll be able to get the signature sewed in. And uh, then I can decorate the cover. And I may pull out my br uh, brother's scanning cut to cut out the uh, some of the ephemera. Not sure yet. I may I may take the time to do it. You know. So, hey Dawn, how are you, honey? I really appreciate y'all coming in and hanging out. Denny's is home tomorrow. Yes, Dennis is home tomorrow. You're right. I forgot about that. You know what? I could ask him to just go in the other room for a little while tomorrow. So we may do that. So um, if y'all will, please leave me a comment. It really, really helps. And uh, I don't care if you just write in there, say hi, or, you know, whatever. And I appreciate the thumbs up. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. I'm really trying to get back. I had started, you know, and then we got COVID and we had to have a, our oldest dog put down last month. He had cancer. We'd had him for 12 years broke our heart. So anyway, I'm going to get off of here for today. Mom needs to go pick up some thread. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me, let me show you what she's working on. I think I'll be able to get it up on here. Uh, I sent a picture of it to the ladies. Oh, come on. I think it's going to come up. Oops. They're door stops. And they're, is that picking it up? They're really pretty tall. And she builds the body using muslin. And then you have to do the little patchwork on top of the muslin and hand sew it all together. And that's what my mom's working on. And I think it's just adorable. I don't know how to put a picture anywhere. So if I did, I would for you. But I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know how to tag people. You know, I, I'm pretty technologically illiterate so you know how that goes well when she gets one finished i'll i'll show it to y'all in a live she makes them and she sells them so my mom has her own little thing going on and i'm very grateful to my youngest daughter um, she worked at, yes, I smoke. I'm, I don't lie to anybody. I smoke. Um, my um, youngest daughter worked at uh, Lazy Boy. She was a di design consultant. And then she went to Weinberger's, which is a high-end furniture place here. And she got trash bags full of the... Um, the sample fabrics, you know, that are hanging on their walls and stuff. And she got bags of it and gave it to me. So mom's using that upholstery fabric, you know, to do hers. So it saved us a lot of money. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here and I've got to get a couple of things done so we can run to Hobby and get her thread. You've been crocheting for about two months. 
very little paper crafting. I need to fill paper today. Yes. And I will, Dawn. I'll share it with you. But anyway, I've got to get off of here. She needs to go. And it is already 1.35 my time. So by the time we do that, I figure we'll go out for a late lunch, an early dinner. And I've got to pick up a couple of things at the grocery. So, okay, Marina. I'm sorry about your power, honey. But anyway, y'all, have a great day rest of your week. I'm hoping I'll see you tomorrow, but you know, just keep an eye just in case. If so, it'll be around noon tomorrow again. Noon seems to work better for me, and I will talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Stay safe.